Hey, what's up, guys? Um, what's up? So, let's look at this um, Clash Royale video here that I've been working on. Um, I've been, I've climbed up to four thousand two times. Um, let's look at the first loss that I did. Um, let's see. Uh, let's look at this one. This one was a pretty good example. This is a pretty good example. This is like a bad case. Like you can see these two cases. There is definitely a lot of spells. Um, you definitely don't want to encounter a lot of spells. Um, it's not going to be good for you. All right. So my starting hand is not bad. I'm going to try to do the commentary right here. All right. So uh, he go ahead and put down the hog with the knight. So counter that with the inferno. And then um, there's both of them. So just for insurance, I went ahead and put the army there. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just ignore the minions. I'm just gonna ignore the minions Because I just want to go ahead and like just save some elixir like and plus I already did some good damage on The right tower, so you know, I'll go ahead and take that damage Yeah, but even though I did this I still ended up losing um, This is actually pretty good the split Barbarians elite barbs is actually pretty hard to counter um so uh, I went ahead and put them both in the middle, um, and then he comes with a hog on the fucking left side. Um, this was pretty hard to counter. I wasn't able to go get to my Inferno tower in time. So Law comes in, counters my barrel, which is pretty bad. The minion, the level 12 minions are really doing a lot of work. Um, definitely um, not, not a good sign here. Um, definitely not a good sign. Uh, you know, it's preventing me from doing the damage that I need to do with my Hog Rider. But, you know, okay, so he fucked up with the Zap right there. We're still pretty much even in Elixir. I'm making sure to keep that Inferno Tower for the Hog. Most likely he's going to put the Hog down on the left side. Most likely. Um, yeah, so I'm just waiting, putting the Knight down just for insurance. I'm technically having um, a pretty hard time with this guy, so I'm not gonna do anything too aggressive. I think throwing the barrel there was kind of a mistake on my part, but I'm like constantly sitting with like max elixir and I have nothing else to do. Um, I should have put down, uh, I don't know why, I should have put down the goblin, goblin gang. I don't know why I didn't. I should have put down the goblin gang, but yeah, I guess I didn't play really that well this match. You know, I, I might have been able to win. But you know, it was either either way. It was it was a tough match, especially when they outcycle you. That's that's the, basically um, that's pretty tough. Um, and plus, the minions, dude, the level twelve minions are completely completely murdering me. And you know, he's getting really good trades, really really good elixir trades. So yeah, there there it goes. There goes my tower. Comes in with the hog. It's insane and then on top of that he has a knight uh, I really think knight is really really underrated he, I think he's like probably one of the best defensive card for the ground um, he's almost like you know like a, a mega minion in a way I think he's like he, he's a really really good unit he's really really good but yeah you, you can see why especially when they have a triple spell you're gonna have a hard time and if you look at the royal giant here, same case, you know, um, with the furnace, doesn't really help out much. But yeah, um, so let's look at some wins here. And after these replays, I'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and open up some chests. I'll open up some chests. Um, let's see. Okay, this one that with the executioner wasn't really that bad. Um, you know, but I mean this I he he really misplayed. He really misplayed this one. But let's go ahead and look at the royal let's look at the royal giant. The royal giant one was actually um I think I was struggling a little bit on this one. I was struggling a little bit. Okay, so as always I'm just gonna wait until my elixir fills up and then I'm just gonna throw in the hog. Throw in the hog and see what he has. Unfortunately he puts the furnace on that side. But, you know, um, he's not going to react, so I'm going to be able to do some damage. Um, right here, you know, I usually want to do, um, 
uh, Skeleton Army or Goblin Gang, but since he has the Furnace, I went ahead and played it like that. Um, it really worked out in my favor playing the Goblin Gang because of the minion that he played. Goblin Gang, I feel like, is, is actually better than um, Skeleton Army for most scenarios because you have the anti-air. Um, but if it's just ground, Skeleton Army is hands down the best DPS. So, okay. Alright, so I put down the Inferno Tower, you know, right after he crossed the bridge. I did it right on time. He went ahead and zapped, but I don't really care, you know, even if he zapped. Because uh, my princess is still doing some DPS on it. I went ahead and sent the knight so I could save my princess from dying. So that, that was a good play. That was a good play right there. Uh, sorry for about sorry about the dogs. So uh, he's going to go ahead and put down the musketeer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the skeleton army, I guess. It's either one of the it's one or the other skeleton army or a goblin gang. But honestly, I think saving skeleton army is probably the better choice because skeleton army honestly defensively I feel like is the better card. Is the better card usually? It's like it's a better distraction, and it's usually a better counter compared to the goblin gang. Um, usually, because Goblin Gate is only six, and there's more for the Skeleton Army. So that was a pretty nice play. But since he played a Furnace on the left side, I get a free Hog hits. You know, Elite Barb's hard counter. Only got one hit, which ain't which ain't really that great. Um, yeah, he got a nice zap right there. Okay, this is the play that I really like doing, especially against Elite Barb's, because even though he played a zap, I'm still gonna do this. I'm gonna play the Goblin Gang. And then I'm gonna put the knight right in front of my tower, just in case like he he like zaps it or fireballs my goblin gang. I will still have my knight there, and the goblin gang would have already done some DPS. And the knight actually does fairly well against one elite barbs. So yeah, he he plays the same thing again. This is great value for log. Go ahead and log that shit. Um, skeleton army right here. And then I'm gonna do the same shit. I'm gonna go ahead and put down the knight. See? You see how you see this? This is a really, really good example. How it just perfectly works out, and the knight just ends up finishing him off. Um, I'm sitting on max, but it's okay. I'm feeling that he's probably gonna zap it or do something. So I just go ahead and put down the goblin gang for the extra DPS. Um, I was thinking about doing a log, but I guess it wasn't worth it. Um, I was just waiting, and I went ahead and did the combo. The barrel hog combo. Um, he's still coming in pretty hard, so use the knight as a distraction. But uh, I can definitely feel it. I can feel the win here. I can feel the W. It's coming in. This is definitely coming in. Um, I have no choice. Just gonna do goblin gang. But this really kind of works out in a way because actually they actually turn take out the furnace right in time. Um, barrel comes in clutch right here. You know, um, he counters it with the leap barbs. I don't know why. Um, skeletal Army for Distraction, Inferno Tower, right in time, alright, but they're doing a lot of damage, Goblin Gang, he does the Fireball, he misses some of the Goblin Gang, which is unfortunate, he, he got really close on this one though, it, it's still a level 12 Royal Giant, so you don't want to fuck with that, and there it goes, the Barrel, the, he overcommitted on that last push, so he didn't really have that much Elixir to, um, to answer the barrel, all right. So we're looking at eight minutes. Uh, maybe I'll show you guys one more. Um, also, another problem I have with this deck is probably um, elixir, elixir collector, and minion horde, and um, electro wizard and barbarians. I mean, this. I think I think I had a pretty hard time with this one. So let me go ahead and show you guys this one, and then we'll just go ahead and pop out some uh, pop some chests right after this. So he starts with the pump. Um, I think he does. I think he does. But usually you run um, um, like a rocket. But even if you don't run a rocket, there's actually a way to counter the pump. I saw this from uh, Pong TV, and he was able to counter the elixir like this. So I did the same thing. I actually learned something from him. Yeah, um, he's a really good player. But yeah, you can definitely learn a thing or two from YouTubers. But yeah, so like that really worked out really well. Positive elixir trade. I did pop his um his main tower, which is a problem, but oh well. Um I'm not gonna worry too much about the bomber. I'll take one hit, you know. But I mean bombers are pretty painful. But yeah, look at the look at the damage that we did on that right side. 
it was that was that was huge that was huge um i don't know i don't know what the hell he was thinking but he barrels right here that was actually a pretty clutch barrel um if i didn't have the log i would have probably been in trouble i would have probably been in trouble i feel like i don't know i really like the log but i feel like arrow also works extremely extremely well because you can counter like minion horde which is really clutch on my other account i'm using fireball instead of knight and i'm using arrow instead of log and i definitely see um the arrow doing a lot of work in in a lot of cases in a lot of cases but still overall for me i feel like log is still better because even with the minion horde i still have a pretty decent answer with the princess not the best answer but a decent answer decent but yeah you see hog right there he just ends up getting destroyed which sucks he's pumping up but uh you know i still have like a slight advantage and elixir still so i'm not like that worried i'm not too worried okay he's coming up with a really really good push here all right okay he comes up with that i go ahead and put down the knight um and then the skeleton army right here is a really really good um really really good distraction i distract the electro wizard with the hog for even more distraction you know dude this is one hell of a push this is one hell of a push i don't even know how i survived this I just put the knight, I log everything, skeleton army, I'm just constantly doing it, the whole nine yard. Um, the barrel was really, really nice. He almost had me here, but thankfully the tower was actually going for the goblins. Um, I don't know why, but yeah, I was really, really lucky. They were going for the goblins instead of... Um, but yeah, just throw down the last log and boom, it's GG, man. That's GG. See, this is like the reason why I like... I mean, the fireball would have worked actually really, really well right here. It would have worked really well, but yeah. But you know, this works out. But yeah, like, I defended pretty well. I defended really, really well. So all I need to do is just do that extra little bit of damage. Um, and then he just ends up giving up right here. And then that was GG. That was GG. It, this was definitely uh, one of the harder battles. And if I didn't counter that elixir pump in the beginning that well, then I would have probably been in a lot of trouble. I would have probably been in a lot of trouble. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pop these. Got a legendary. Um, let's go ahead and pop the crown chest first. Let's see what I get. I definitely want some more cards. Um, looking for the cards for this deck. I'm doing the best in this deck. Oh yeah, before I forget, there's a couple of things I need to mention. Honestly, I've had the best result with this deck climbing to Legendary before um, they changed everything. I hit 3,000. I hit 3,000. Um, this is not bad. I hit 3,000 with the Lava lava Loon. The Lava Balloon. The lava Hound Balloon. It, that was really, really good. And I kept playing it. And then later on, I found this deck, which was even better, like... Seriously guys, even though I was at such a level disadvantage, uh, in the beginning I think I had um, I had tournament standard levels. I had tournament standard level and I was able to hit like 3000 something, you know? And then once I leveled it up a little bit more to my current state, sorry guys, it's raining outside. But yeah, let's go ahead and finish this real quick. Ah, uh, let's see what legendary I get, please. A lot of heal, a lot of heal. All right, here it goes. Oh shit, Electro Wizard, dude. That's that's actually a really good, really good pull. That's that's a really good pull. I'm really happy for this. But yeah, before I had you know level nine commons, level seven rare, and level four epics. That was it, and I was pretty happy. Um, if I got a log, that would have been really nice too. I definitely want log. And also, you can you can replace the the Electro Wizard with the princess. I'm just gonna go ahead and level them up because I'm definitely gonna use them. I'm definitely gonna use them because the increase of the spawn damage um, is really, really big. It's so crucial. Now it's doing um, it's doing 174. So yeah, 174, I think I'll, I think I'd be able to kill the, the goblins at 174, can I? Oh, I can kill these. No, I still can't kill those. Oh, uh, well, nah. but still, it's just better than nothing. I mean, it's better than nothing. One seventy-four. I mean, that's more damage than 
than my fucking princess, so I mean, level 10 minions? I don't think level 10 minions will die. No, they won't. So, I don't know. I don't know, I'll think about it. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, and hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like and subscribe if you guys like the content. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.